Hello and welcome back to Patient Knowledge. My name is Dr. Kirmani and this channel is all about health education. Today I will be talking about an interesting topic, bone marrow transplant. Do you ever wonder what's this procedure? What are the types of bone marrow transplant? Why is it performed? So let's get started and find out more about this. In this video, I will give a detailed description of what's bone marrow transplant, when a bone marrow biopsy is recommended, what are the conditions when it is required, and what are different types of bone marrow transplant. I will also tell you about the precautions one needs to take after the procedure. Before we begin, I want to mention that bone marrow is a semi-solid spongy tissue inside the bone that replenishes blood cells. It helps in the production of young blood cells that develop into matured cells. Now what are stem cells? A stem cell is a cell with the unique ability to develop into specialized cell types in the body, including blood cells. A bone marrow transplant is also called as stem cell transplant or hematopoietic stem cell transplant. It's a medical procedure that's performed to replace the bone marrow that has been damaged or destroyed by disease, infection or chemotherapy. Bone marrow transplant is performed for bone marrow recovery using stem cells from either bone marrow, blood or umbilical cord. This procedure involves transplanting blood stem cells which travel to the bone marrow where they produce new blood cells and promote growth of new marrow. Now what's bone marrow biopsy and why is it performed? It is usually recommended if your blood test shows abnormalities in the blood cells such as red blood cells, white blood cells or platelets being very low or very high. This is done to find out the cause of abnormal blood cells. It's a simple procedure which is done under local anesthesia. A small incision is made on the skin and a needle is inserted into the bone. A fluid bone marrow is withdrawn and this is sent for testing to find out the cause of abnormal blood cells. Now, what are the conditions that require bone marrow transplant? Well, it could be non-cancerous or cancer. The non-cancerous conditions are aplastic anemia and thalassemia. Aplastic anemia is a condition where the marrow, stop, marrow, marrow stops making new cells and thalassemia is an inherited blood disorder where the body makes abnormal hemoglobin, while hemoglobin is an integral part of blood cells. Now the cancers that affect the bone marrow are leukemia, lymphoma and multiple myeloma. It is also performed to replace the damaged bone marrow due to chemotherapy or radiotherapy. Now there are two types of bone marrow transplant, autologous and allogenic. Autologous stem cell transplant is a process that involves harvesting your cells before starting a damaging therapy to the cells such as chemotherapy or radiotherapy. Before the procedure, your bone marrow was taken out and it is stored in a right temperature. After the radiation or chemotherapy is done, your own cells are returned to your body. Now, This type of transplant is not always available. It has some limitations. This can be used if you have a healthy bone marrow. However, it reduces the risk of some serious complications including graft versus host disease. Now, the allogenic transplant involves the use of cells from the donor. The donor has to be a close genetic match. Often a compatible relative is the best choice, but genetic matches can also be found. Now, allogenic transplants are necessary if you have a condition that has damaged your bone marrow cells. However, they have a high risk of certain complications such as graft versus host disease, where your cells and the host cells may attack each other and the donor cells may attack each other. Now to prevent this, you will have to be put on medications to suppress your immune system so that your body doesn't attack the new cells. This can make your you susceptible to infections or illnesses. Now the success of allergenic transplant depends on how closely the donor cells match your own. How do we know if it's a success or not? Ideally, 
within three to four weeks of transplant, uh, if a blood test is done, it should show an increase in the blood cell count. If it doesn't, then it means there is a graft failure and the person can develop bleeding and or infection. Now annually around 17,500 people worldwide benefit from this procedure. What are the precautions to be taken after the bone marrow transplant is done? Take prescribed medications regularly, maintain a good personal and oral hygiene, have a healthy balanced diet and avoid an infection by wearing a mask, washing your hands and avoid going in crowded places. It usually takes around three to six months to recover after the allergenic type of transplant and 12 to 18 months recovery for, uh, for recovery after an autologous transplant. Now the survival rate is usually 62% after the procedure and it is higher for non-malignant diseases. So up to around 70 to 90 percent of survival rate. Well, that's all for today. I hope this information was useful in understanding bone marrow transplant. Thank you for listening. If you wish to hear something about, leave it in the comment box below. Bye for now.